the sperm cell penetrates corona. is the outer membrane and is connected to the body stalk. The chorionic villi are surrounded by maternal blood. This allows them to carry nutrients to the embryo and nourish it. We'll see more on this later. During the fourth week, three pairs of pharyngeal arches appear. In addition, the upper limb buds are visible first followed by the lower limb buds. The embryo is now curved in a C shape. The caudal eminence is tail-like in shape. The somites, which give rise to the cells forming the skeletal muscles and components of the skin, among other things, can still be identified. The embryo continues to grow rapidly, measuring approximately four to five millimeters by the end of the fourth week. The lens placodes and olfactory pits are formed. The later arms and hands, as well as legs and feet, can be already well identified. The hands will develop from paddles to separate fingers by the eighth week. is about 23 millimeters long by the middle of the eighth week. The legs will not lose their web feet until a few days after the hands. <music> Embryogenesis turns into fetogenesis in the ninth week, and in the third month, that is, from the twelfth week on, the fetus already has a human-like appearance. The eyelids are closed. The skin is translucent. In the following weeks, the fetus grows and the ossification of the fetal skeleton takes place so that the bones are clearly visible on ultrasound images by the 16th week. Feel the baby's movements. In addition, the sucking reflex has already been established. By the 28th week, the hair on the head, eyebrows, and eyelashes continue to grow. In addition, the eyes open. The fetus gains a lot of mass in the last few months, and the lanugo hairs and the vernix gradually fade away. It is also slowly getting tighter and tighter in mom's belly. At first, the fetus is supplied by the body stalk and yolk sac, but then more and more by the umbilical cord and placenta. Since the fetus possesses both the DNA of the mother and of the father, the blood of the fetus must not mix with the blood of the mother. The placenta is responsible for this. It is responsible for the exchange of substances between mother and fetus. Eight weeks, the fetus is fully developed. It measures 50 centimeters and weighs around 3,000 grams. The birth takes place now or in the next two to four weeks. <laughs> 